up, Ghost here, and today we are back in SnowRunner, and like I said before in the last video, I was, I, there was a first gen, you know, first gens is like, basically my favorite truck out of like any truck, that's Chevy, Ford, Dodge, uh, GMC, everything, I would take a first gen over anything, um, I actually have a first gen, it's not a Cummins, unfortunately, but eventually I might hit, go ahead and, um, get me a first gen Cummins, um, but, of course, I'm restoring mine, <laughs> so it has a little while before it even sees the road. But today, we're going to be driving this one. Now, this is a Cummins. We got, like, the boggers on it. I actually like that, and I like the uh, like the center hubs and stuff. It's like the old-school-looking style hub. Uh, old-school-looking style rim. We don't have no, uh, you know, 20 or 22-inch rim wrapped in, like, a, a smaller mud tire or something. This is the old-school mud mud tire style it's actually probably still even too big of a rim because now a lot of people uh, back in the day you know they were running like 37s or even like 44s or something they were on like a 15 inch rim so there was a lot of sidewall and stuff so now it's like less sidewall so it, it's kind of like going back i don't know I, i'm a medium like i'd rather have like maybe a 20 inch rim on a you know 37 or 40 because i i really don't like a lot of rim or a lot of tires, so I, I'm like a half and half. Anyways, guys, we're going to get started. Let's go ahead and fire this bad boy up. Oh, mama. Let's this thing shake. I know the handbrake's on, but it's in neutral. Come on now. All right, so today we are going to go hunting for watchtowers. Now, we have two watchtowers. We're in Russia right now. Two, uh, two watch tires that we've got to get and maybe if we have a job in between there of like pulling a truck or something uh, we could do that but today this is what we're doing I'm trying to get a lot of these maps unlocked and what's the best way to learn a truck is to you know basically go ahead and put it on a map and uh, see how it does because usually I'm like well uh, we're going to take this little uh, Ford Ranger and go pull a giant semi it, it really doesn't work so this is a better test you know what i've got to go through the mud i got to let me oh don't really have that much flex we are on leaf spring so might not be the best ride but truck looks amazing i'm not mistaken i think uh i think it says on the play i think it's uh it's like Exo Froggy or something. I think, is that? Looks like. I was say, is that a Tennessee plate on a thing? But yeah, it's like Exo Froggy or something. He does some really good trucks and stuff for, uh, you know, spin tires. It's the whole genre, really. Come on. We need a four door Dodge first gen. That's, that's basically my dream truck. A lot of I've seen a lot of people you know take them like the older model and then put the newer style front end like this one has on it and everything. But I really like to have a four door. I need one so eventually. All right, so we're going to go be going out this way. We've got 1984 out of 2000. So it does drink to gas uh, the diesel because back there we were I think like 1991. So it really does gulp it away. It's supposed to be daytime, but I feel like it's almost nighttime. So, you know, it says afternoon. Let's make it reset it to that again. Because I like running in, you know, daylight so we can actually see what we're doing. I wouldn't knew that was a mud hole. The only bad thing about this truck, I wish you could take the lockers off of it. Cause I like going through stuff without lockers or you know or uh, you know four-wheel drive and then I'm like all right let me go ahead and hit you know the old full wheel we'll make it or something like that but this is locked all the time but it's a beautiful truck so I mean hey we just out, out for a cruise and but we are hitting some ruts now I think we're gonna go this way we're on the road again to go um, what was that I think we might have found a truck that we can I think we might be stuck uh oh let me go ahead and hit in low high oh boy look at this we actually might be stuck let me uh, <laughs> 
we're burying that front end. Okay, so we are stuck. We're going to have to go ahead and winch. Let's see. Let me go ahead and... Uh, let's see. Functions. Well... I'm going to have to winch. Wait, which, where's the front at? Okay, yeah, okay. I didn't want to, like, winch it to that. I don't even know if that tree's going to pull us. But we're going to try. Alright, come on. Alright, here we go. Wonder, uh, wonder where this truck's going. Oh, this is like really bad mud down through <laughs> like down through here so i don't know about us pulling this guy out because there's like no other trees here wonder where it's going let me see um alexander the local inventor decided to try to increase speed and efficiency of his truck with some simple modifications up on testing he plunged off the road blue engine would you mind taking a look hey you know what I mean, he might have some, like, <laughs> some really good ideas. Like, let's go ahead and uh, throw it in the old truck a do. Hang on, I need to. No, hang on. Okay, yeah, I was like, I need to clear all this. Now, where's, <clears throat> where's he be? One fee has got to go back to the garage there. I mean, we can, we can always hook up to him. And try taking. I mean, might as well. I don't know if we're going to uh, make it back that way we came. We might have to go down. You know what? I think it'd probably be best if we pulled that front end around. Maybe down in there. That would probably be our best bet. Well, I don't know. We're in the mud here, though. Alright, so let's go ahead hook to him he's out of fuel of course and oh my goodness like I don't want to get myself stuck but we're buried <laughs> let me go ahead and put it in low I just want to turn oh she's doing it well just for a brief second <laughs> Come on. I know you can. All right, come on. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't even know if we're gonna make it out of here. All right, here we go. Let me, I'm gonna have to... Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm winching to a log that I literally just boy I did say in uh, another video I got water in my truck another video that you know a lot of modded trucks and stuff don't go that or they go too well this one goes really good I mean it it, it, it does what you want it to do can I even get I don't know if we can even like make it up out of this mud hole I might have like I might have swamped it. I might have. Um, we're going to have to pull ourselves out somehow. Alright, come on. Reverse. And there goes the tree. Don't, don't, don't move, little tree. Don't move. Okay. Um, oh, I don't want to hit the guy's truck. Mostly, I don't want to uh, damage mine as I, like I sink the front end to a mud hole. Um, <laughs> we might be pulling him backwards and then out. All right. No, I don't want. I want to hook it. No. Oh, come on. Okay, it's like it does not want to find a happy place. I don't feel like it sound a little bit like Squidward. And I want to find a happy place. Oh, look, we pull him now. Oh, now you want to go. 
Um, there's actually a road on the other side. But I'm thinking maybe we can go up through here. Boy, air suspension is not liking this. Look at that back. She's dancing. We about to break something. I just feel it. If I can... Oh, man. Look, we're actually like mowing down the grass. That's pretty sweet. We just spun up a little... Uh, little bush there all right so if we can get this thing turned around it looks like it's in dago neutral i mean like park or something because the wheels every now and then look like they free uh, or freeze all right so we're just gonna cruising low i mean we're going slowly i don't want to go through that mud right there and there's no way I can make it that over there. Well, down that creek. I need to turn this truck around. Is what I need to do. Hmm. Let's see. You know what? Wait, is this a road? Um, I don't know if it is or not. I don't want the truck to roll. So I think what we're going to do is we'll come around this way hook up to it and then try to make like a gigantic turn or something this daggone truck is sinking too that's that's wonderful alright I really don't even know where we got to bring this bad boy to um Let's see. Does it say? Okay, so we're doing this one. Let's see, where does it want us to go to? Does it not say? I'm trying to find, because oh, usually it'll put like a spot on the map somewhere, so that's trying what I'm trying to see. Um, vehicles, no, I don't need spare. Is it going to the garage? Um, let me, actually, you know what, let's go ahead and pull this truck down here and see, because I think I'm going to try to utilize that filter right there. I just hope we're not going to get stuck right now. Okay, so now where are we going? Um... Let's start tracking. Well, okay, I've got that right there. So we need to take it. It should have a little thing on the map, but I'm not seeing where it needs to go. What? I swear, I probably need to go way over here. Um, let's see. Let's see. Move player. I don't even see where it really does need to go because it's not even showing me over here. Well, I'm sure it doesn't need to go over here. Maybe I don't know. Hmm. Um. I mean, <laughs> we are kind of in show task reward. Yeah. Oh, crap. Okay, um, let's see. We need to, okay. Would you mind taking a look? Okay, now where we gotta go with this? <clears throat> I have a feeling we're gonna have to go down in here somewhere. So, I'm not even gonna, like, pick it up or anything. Um, We're going to go ahead and just go to the watchtower because I know if we do that, then it's probably going to be over here somewhere and we're really not going to be able to see it and it's just going to be a pain in the butt to drag that truck around and I don't want to drag that truck around for like, you know, two or three hours and not know where we're going. So, we'll go up this way because there is a road over here. 
I think. I think there's a road. There's a road right there. We're going to go ahead and jump on it. And if we could come back to it, get it, that'd be fine. But right now, we're just on the road. I hate that we you know, wasted time trying to pull it out, but it is uh, it is what it is. If we get that truck over here on this road, we should be all right, but it just depends. I mean, the road does look like it's pretty mushy. Is that beehives over there? I think that is beehives. Either that or chicken coops, but I think it's beehives. I don't like honeybees over there. My dad was definitely allergic to honeybees. I don't know if I am or not. I've never been stung by one. Like, knock on fake wood trim. I do, uh, I do like the interior of this truck, though. It is quite nice. Um, I guess, uh, oh, I see it. There's another truck. Well, okay, see, now that van... It's kind of more of our style, so we've got more stuff. I tell you what, this looks like a good place right here to uh, be playing around with a foil or side by side or something. That's another thing. Like I was actually looking for a brand new like 2020 Turbo 1000 Razor. Of course, I mean I like to have a can in. It's like or godly expensive. Anyways, like I was looking for one a side by side, and like. There's none out. This that on Rona Corona bullcrap virus literally has like all their production stopped on a lot of uh, you know like you know, assembly lines. So there, there's not I couldn't even find a side by side or anything. So hopefully the next two months I'm still looking and stuff. I can find one that I like and everything. That way I get out to actually start playing in mud like this. Like this is cool and stuff, but. I got. I like riding. I like playing in the mud. My razor like conked out, so it's gone now. I think the only <laughs> the only reason the guy buy uh, bought it after well, I got rid of it was because it had tractor tires on it. I think <laughs> that's like the only sell port from that thing. All right. Um, we are coming up on it. It's gonna be behind those trees on the top there. This would be a, uh, a good logging road. But look at that. I love how, like, the steam is lifting, you know, stuff. Because it is still in, like, the, the noon. Oh. I knew we was going to sink a little bit right there. Come on, baby. Wide open spaces. Oh, this is like a freeway right here. I bet you there ain't a road up here. I love how there's a tower and there's not a road up here. You know this is like the uh, the spot of the spot. The spot of the spot. There is a no road. This is where you park and come up here and see what's going on. Alright. Let's look at this beautiful view. Wow. Wow, wow, wee wow. Looks a lot better than that snow view we had the other day. Um, looks like we could, uh, probably go back to that van and try to get that van out, or we can head on over and do the other one. I think we should head on over and do the other one, and that way, what we can do, uh, we can, uh, have more of the map open. I think we're going to go ahead and change it back to noon. This old truck just looks so good. Sounds pretty good too. And Vavolt. This actually looks like the same tail lights I have for my truck. I think they are almost the exact same. Because they're like, no, I think these might be stock ones. It just looks like it, but uh mine's like the clear glass ones. I mean, I don't know, I can't really that got stupid mud. Uh oh. Well, these rocks won't follow. I love how some of these rocks, they will follow you. Yep. Like you drive down the hill, next thing you know, there goes a rock passing you. Like, what? The pioneer used to you ride those bait for miles. Now they're outrunning me. There's a building over there to the left. 
looks like a good uh, a good size building over there. I guess we'll go down the valley. Uh oh. I was waiting for my oh well, I was waiting for my front wheel to just automatically just like disappear. Hold on, she's gonna be a bumpy ride. Oh, come on, yeah, going to I'm just waiting just to sync up. I ain't letting off. I ain't letting off of her, you know what I'm saying? Um I think we gotta go this way as we jump the road. Is this another stranded motorist, or they just said we don't really care about this car? Screw it, you can have it. I'll take that thing to the junkyard. Get some scrap money for it. Buy me some more diesel. Yeah, all they work. We have almost use a uh, hundred liters. Oh, uh, take a liter of cola. Uh oh. Well. I guess we'll have to like go with the load going up to this thing. All right, slap it down. Heck yeah. Building boost. We just need like a little boost cage. Get out the way. Oh, there's a big. No, you're a little bit too big. <laughs> you're a little bit too big to be a tree. Can I run over this picnic table? Excuse me, coming through. Like, how'd you get a flat, stupid picnic table? I have a literally a, a bush in my truck. Um, I guess we're just gonna head this way. We're not even like on uh, on roads, and we got another stuck truck. I guarantee you. We've got a lot of stuck trucks. We just need like a really off-road tow truck. Uh, I mean, is it stuck or is it there or? Uh oh. Well, this is not good. Never mind. I'm out of here. See you later, truck. <laughs> I don't know if it's stuck or not. It's like not really. Because usually it's like, oh, this truck is stuck. Uh, would you like to help it? Um, oh, this is a bad little area through here. Come on. Uh oh. I was like, no, <laughs> don't fill me now, little tree. All right, so we are on more, a little bit more. I was like, we're on a little bit more solid ground. I ain't letting off. We hear this thing screaming. Well, it was screaming until it changed gears. Um, we gotta watch because some of the stuff might swallow the whole truck whole. I'm like, here, balls to the wall, man. Uh oh, come on! Just keep swimming, swimming. There we go. Rogan. I'm like mowing down trees. Come on. There we go. We're getting there. Slowly but uh <laughs> surely. I do I'm like mowing the trees down and I think that my tree might have just Took out air grill. That grill is like 160 bucks. You buy it on eBay for replacement. Well, trust me, I know because I had to buy one. So we're down to 160 bucks. I don't know how much the bumper is because I ain't had to buy a bumper. Heck, on it. I mean, that was a mint condition. Oh boy, we are, we are in uh, the thick of it now. That's crazy that they put like this much detail, like laying trees and stuff down where people might never ever go, except for this guy, where there's the unknown. Ghosts will be exploding. Tell me this is cool, this is cool though. This is like, it looks like you're just cruising out in real life, 
that you've drank a lot of beer and y'all know where the hell y'all are. Woohoo! America, even though we're in Russia. Better not say it too loud right here. Especially for Russia. I have found a a stump. The stump is that. I think it fell over. We're getting it. Is this a road? I don't know if this is a road or not, but I felt it is a road. No, maybe I don't know. It's my road now. I shall call this Ghost Interstate. Boy, talking about putting it on the side of like, or in the middle of nowhere, but I don't know what it looks like when we got here. Oh, well, let me see this beautiful view of views. Look at that. Look at that crap hole. Is it flooded? I think it is. That's the crazy thing. It's like, oh no. Laura. I was like, there goes their back bumper and a tailgate sign. No. How the heck do you get off here? A wheel of mines. Hey, that fence just fell over by itself, I swear. What? See? Well, I mean, maybe I did that one, but. I mean, come on, man. Give me a break. I mean, I think that town is flooded. I'm pretty sure it is. Na, 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 na. Let's give them something to talk about. Well, this is like an old, it's like an old mines. And, oh boy, what in like meth out happened there? Oh wow. There goes my front fender. Hey, this is an older truck. It probably hurt that rock more than it hurt my fender. From the looks of it, probably not. Oh, we're, gra we're grabbing the ground too. I read something about, uh, I think, uh, the Exo Froggy said the axles had, like, collisions, so you couldn't, like, drive through rocks or something. Oh, my goodness. I think it might be flooded. Can I, like, uh, drive on? I'm literally parked on somebody's porch here. Okay, apparently they don't like me to it. It's a ghost town. About 500 people probably died here. Wow, talking about if you were standing there and you got stabbed in the face with a big old pole. Kind of like tapped it. Oh, oh my goodness. Ah! My bad. Y'all said, uh, you want all of it tore down? I got you. I got you. We're going to hit something, a hard, solid spot. One of these, I just feel it. It's okay. I fixed it. Wow. We're definitely going to have to do some more exploring here. Alright guys, that is going to do it for this video. hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you punch that subscribe button. In the comments, tell me some more games that I need to play that I'll probably end up wrecking and like destroying a whole entire flooded town fence. Anyways guys, I'm out of here. Mm -hmm.